Hello everyone and welcome to another Feed Army video. Did you know that when you create feed rules, not all operators are available within the feed rule creation? For example, what is available for pricing, such as calculations, is not available for title, excluded destinations, etc. Each attribute has their own set of operators that are available. So what do you do if you want to calculate a margin and exclude that product, for example? That is not directly possible within the feed rule creations. However, if you create a custom attribute, then you are able to use all the operators that are available and then exclude based on that custom attribute. In this video, I will demonstrate how to go and do that for every step. And then you can create a set of rules using custom attributes based on all operators that you want to do. In this example, it will be based on margin. So let's go ahead and have a look. Okay, so now that we are in Google Merchant Center, you go to your feed, select your feed, and within the feed rules, you can start the project. So what we first want to do is create a custom attribute, not to be confused with a custom label. Custom label is a normal attribute within Google Merchant Center, but a custom attribute means that it is defined outside of the feed requirements. So how to create one is by clicking on the plus icon and then you begin by typing your sentence or word that you want to use. In my case, I want to say price or sale price value. Now do not click on enter, simply click on the one that is highlighted with an asterisk. So click on that, here we go. So what I want to do now is set a sale price if it exists, otherwise I want to use the price. So if sale price, has a value and now we want to set it as sale price. So when you do this and you type SA and you want to select it, the problem is that now it will just say SA. Um, this is a new bug that I've noticed today. So instead of typing the value, go and select it itself. So we can go and scroll the sale price and now it's correctly selected. Then click on OK. Now add the second source and just set it to price. This means that if the sale price is not, does not have a value, it will set it to the price. There we go. And then we click on save as draft. The second step is to create the margin calculations so that we can use all the operators. So click on plus, and now I want to calculate margin. Again, do not enter, select the um, one with the asterisk underneath custom attributes. Now what we want to do is set it to the custom attribute we just created. And now add a modification. And as you can see now, now you get all the different attributes, even optimize URL um, and um, repeated field, which is not by default uh, within the normal attributes and such as calculations as well. It doesn't uh, exist there. Now what we want to do is then click on calculate and then we want to subtract the cost of goods. Now in this example, I'm using cost of goods um, so make sure that you've added that in the attribute feed it's, uh, itself, otherwise you cannot use that, of course. Um, so now click on OK. And now you can see that the original price has been subtracted with cost of goods because it so shows as 1208 as an example. Now save as draft. And now in this case, uh, I want to exclude based on low margin. Of course, you can create uh, rules whichever you want. Um, and as you can see, I already have uh, excluded rules, but we will uh, do one more. Now, if the margin that we just created is less than five, then we want to exclude it from both the display ads and also the shopping ads. Click on OK. 
save as draft. And now I want to apply all the rules that I've just created. And just to show you, um, so for example, we go to exclude the destinations. And if we want to do uh, a modification, you will see that not all the attribute uh, operators are available, only three. While if we have our own um, custom attribute, we have all the attributes. Now, once you've applied the draft, it does not automatically reapply and you must process the data feed again, reprocessing. So in my case, because I'm using a TSV file, I can just click on reprocess and then all the rules are applied. If you're using content API, then you need to download all your products and re-upload it as a supplement feed. And then that's how you can reprocess the feed. And I will link in the tutorial on my website. You can click in the description. Uh, it will show the link where you can uh, reprocess the feed as an easy step-by-step -step guide, like the one that I've created now for custom attributes. I hope this has been helpful and thank you for watching.